Good afternoon. My name is Dia Arun, and along with my fellow DP1 student, Sebastian Lian, we will be your hosts for the Skagrak International School graduation ceremony of 2021. We would ask before we start that all mobile phones are switched to silent mode. Just give them a bit. Thank you, Dia. I would like to start the proceedings by extending a very warm welcome to all of the parents and family members who have been here today to share in our graduate special day. I would also like to welcome all the staff and also Mrs. Rowella Hanson, the president of the Skarek Parent Council, who is here with us today. 
no welcome would be complete without the, mentioning the most important group of people here, our lovely graduates of 2021. I will now hand over to the director of Skagrock International School, Mr. James Tester. Congratulations, DP2. I am so delighted to be here and welcome you to the DP2 graduation 2021. I would personally like to thank you for being you. You who have taken the risk to do something out of the ordinary. You who made the decision at the end of grade 10 to become unique, some of you much earlier than that. Today, you are ending a significant journey. You have climbed and summited the IB mountain. At least I hope so for most of you. You are now joining thousands of other international, Skagrack International School graduates making change around the world. Today, class of 2021, you now join them, and I'm absolutely thrilled for you. I'm also thrilled for the people who are here who have supported you along the way. The teachers, the beautiful teachers in the front row here, your parents, your guardians, your siblings, your grandparents, people who have pushed you, dried your tears, and laughed with you from the very first day. Can we please take a quick second to thank the people here supporting you today? Now, although you are following in the footsteps of many and will receive all the accolades of graduates past, you are different. You are tougher, you are more prepared and better adapted to the world than any class before you. I have been in awe of the grace and perseverance shown by all of you through these tumultuous times. Times that have affected this cohort of students more than any other, that's for sure. Most importantly, you are resilient. What does it mean to be resilient? The dictionary defines it as the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties and to display toughness. Psychologists might say, resilient peoples are the ones who remain calm in the face of disaster. I would also add, people who are able to utilize their skills and strengths to cope and recover from problems and challenges are resilient. People who, rather than falling into despair or hiding from problems with unhealthy coping strategies, instead face life's difficulties head on, are resilient. This is you, DP2. The pandemic may have forced resilience upon you and your teachers, yet in the end, and in most cases, we have emerged stronger than ever before. Individuals who lack this trait of resiliency might become overwhelmed with various life experiences the future may bring them, but not the DP2 graduating class of 2021. As you leave Skagerrak now and set out into the real world, continue building resilience in yourselves. When tragedy or disappointment strikes, know that deep inside you, you have the ability to endure and achieve anything. You have already done this. You are already prepared. It still will not be easy. Much has changed in just the past few months and things are going to change again. I know most of you are currently experiencing uncertainties about universities, crossing borders, moving countries, finding summer jobs, or even awaiting DP results. More will change. But please continue to be resilient and persevere. Persevere like I did at the start of the school year, 
as the number three ranked ping pong player at Skagrack International School. By the end of the year, I slipped down to number 12, long forgotten at the end of the list, but ahead of Rohit, Rohan, and Aaron statistically. I will be practicing all summer, DP2, so don't come back next year because none of you will want any of this in ping pong. I will persevere. Did your global pandemic bring you down? You didn't let it beat you. You, DP2, are resilient. Some advice on what to do in the meantime. Enjoy today. Enjoy tomorrow and all the days that fill the gap before the start of your next journey. Most of all, take a deep breath and congratulate yourself. Be proud of yourself. In the future, eventually you will have time to reflect and you will remember the cast of characters who helped you along this journey, who supported you and cheered you on. The great teaching staff sitting right here in the front row, your family and parents sitting here or watching digitally around the world, or maybe even a chubby Canadian school director who's surprisingly agile in ping pong. Remember us, we will still be here. Remember that it's always okay to ask for support. It is always okay to come back and say hello. Nothing makes teachers or teaching more resilient to see how former students are out changing the world. Congratulations, DP2. Thank you for coming into my life and good luck on your next step. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Tester. I will now call upon Ms. Folan, our head of pastoral, to deliver the pastoral reading. Oh, the sun is shining. Okay. Um, you might well wonder what a pastoral reading is. To be honest, so did I. But like all good Skagrak students, when in doubt, Google it. Thus, I should right now parrot the words of Dr. Seuss and tell you all the places you'll go, or at least try my hand at Shakespeare's Seven Ages of Man. But those would be borrowed feathers. Actually, the voice that resonates the most for me, that rings as clear as a bell, is actually someone much closer to home. My mother would have been 85 this year. English was not her first language, so her words of wisdom, and there were many, were delivered in Gaelic or Irish. Luckily, you have me to translate for you. So today, I will choose five of these to share with you. Number one, Anin Kirog Kirog Ella. One earwig, or beetle, recognizes another. I love that. It means you will find your tribe, your people. It might not have happened for you at Skagarek, but when you're at university or deep in the belly of your online Dungeons and Dragons forum, you will find your kindred spirit. Maybe just not on Tinder. Remember, you only need one earwig. Popularity is overrated, but being loved, sharing a passion, Having someone you can be completely yourself with at all times is a rare pearl that is worth finding. But it also means that you must always be yourself. So Earwig can recognize you. The second phrase my mother was fond of using was The dog bark on him. It means to be so bland and insipid, to be invisible. It's not a great fate. So make sure the dogs always bark on you. Use your voice, use your education, and speak out for what you believe in. Always be seen and heard in this life. And the third one is something you might have heard before. Wisdom does not come before age. Nihagan Kiel River Ish. And wisdom will come in many forms. 
There will be experiences ahead of you that will teach you more in a single day than all your school days ever could. Be open to that in your life. But it also means that now is the time to make some mistakes. As I recall, some of those mistakes can be rather enjoyable. The fourth one is Anam Korshan Par Susna Alir. It means time to put the old man up in the attic. For some reason, it was never the old woman, but always the old man. But that's another story. In the past, when bedrooms were located downstairs next to the fire, there came a time that had fathered quite enough children, and it was time to retire him and put him up in the attic. It means know when to stop, know when to walk away. That is a hard lesson for any of us to learn. But remember, you can always change course and restart your life. Step up from the table when what you need to nourish you is no longer being served. And finally, this is something I sincerely wish for each and every graduate here today. My I hope you will be as satisfied as a shop cat. May you be loved, admired, and well fed, just like that cat. I might not be young enough to know everything, but remember, your mother, or maybe your father, and in whatever language they speak to you, should be listened to, as they have an annoying habit of always being right, even if it takes you a lifetime, like me, to realize that. Good luck, and remember, what's for you won't pass you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Fuller. It is now my great pleasure to call upon our head of high school, Mr. Nicholas Menander, for the traditional IV coordinator's address. Dear teachers and staff, parents and guardians, all of you following on our live stream, uh, but above all, dear graduates of 2021. Today is the day we celebrate that you finished high school. Today is a day when you are in the center of everyone's attention because of your academic achievements and that you reached one of the key moments of your life. I've had the privilege to follow the majority of you for three years. In my role as the DP coordinator, it has given me the opportunity to have an overview of your whole academic development. We've had very important conversations about what to choose, how to structure your time wisely, or you just needed to share something frustrating that just happened. Some needed to have more conversations than others. But also discussions about your future and what will happen next. I've also been fortunate to teach some of you. In the classroom is where the true interaction happens and has been incredibly motivating to discuss different issues with you and to see you grow. Some of you have been at Skagrak for a very long time. You've gone through kindergarten, the PYP, MIP, and finally DP. That means being here for 13 to 14 years. I guess you, if anyone, is happy to finish school. Quite many of you joined us for DP1, 13 to be precise, and have only been here for two years, but very easily found your place in the group a group full of diverse characters that will definitely be remembered for a very long time. What a year we've had. 
we had been forced to learn new skills within digital learning very quickly. To be physically in school and sitting in front of the screen by quite different set of skills. I have to say that I'm very impressed with how you tackled this challenge and also the teachers who had changed their way of teaching overnight. We have been very fortunate to have you physically in school through your entire DP2 year. Others around the world has not been that lucky. So in some ways, this has been normal. But in so many other ways, nothing has been normal. The IB philosophy is not just about the academics. It's about educating the whole person. You should develop emotionally and ethically as well. Humans are social, social beings that we need to interact with people we care about and do things we enjoy. If we are emotionally balanced and in a good spirit, then we will also perform better academically. COVID-19 has put a damp blanket on us. Constantly feeling unsure if we can go to school tomorrow or if someone close to us is about to get sick. Or if I just got it and accidentally spread it to someone else. This has been a year where it has been difficult to focus on schoolwork. Because there are so many thoughts that have been buzzing in your heads. For some of you, focusing on schoolwork might have helped you deal with the uncertainties. While for others, it's been the opposite. The uncertainties have taken your mind off schoolwork. I know that you've spent many, many hours to prepare for the exams and worked several nights finishing your IAs, sometimes off the deadline. You've been stressed, nervous, but you've also been focused and disciplined. Something that I can confirm by the way that you have conducted yourself during the exams. I am truly impressed by what you have achieved. We all are. Sitting between 10 to 13 exams in three weeks is mentally challenging, and I know that you're very tired right now. It's also physically challenging, because some of you wrote so much, you got blisters on your fingers and sore wrists. You have finished the International Baccalaureate. Something more challenging than to go through other high school educations. And by doing this, you've given yourself a head start compared to other students that you'll meet at university. But you will also meet other IB graduates and you will have things in common. Because you've gone through the same thing with similar experience, no matter where in the world that you're from. Things like extended essays, language oral exams, TOK presentations, individual investigations, comparative studies, explorations and task portfolios. Wherever you're going or whatever plans you have for the future, I hope that you will re always remember the good moments at Skagra. After a while, with some distance, you'll also appreciate the more challenging moments. Outside my office, I have a poster that shows a comparison between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. I hope that you paid attention to what it says while waiting for a meeting with me. A fixed mindset is when you believe that skills, intellect, and talents are set and unchangeable. A growth mindset is when you believe that skills, intellect, and talents can be developed through practice and perseverance. My advice for the future is that you should strive to have a growth mindset. This will help you continuing being successful. Thank you for choosing Skagra, so I got the chance to follow your development during these years. I will truly miss you. So now when you're about to face new challenges, I wish you the best of luck and keep in touch. Thank you. We will now listen to Min Suk on the piano.
This is the moment that we've all been waiting for when we award the high school diplomas to the graduates. I would ask you to please refrain from clapping until all of the graduates have received their diplomas. This year, to minimize contact, we have taken the precaution of awarding the diploma and certificates at the same time. Lynn Salim Abi Saab. I also have to say that maybe has also been awarded the outstanding effort and improvements in time of biology. Madison Hannah Amir. Christopher Ares Homo. Samuel E. May Bassi. Emily Rebecca Berlson. Aaron B. Time. Sebastian Dalton Chalmers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alicia Overgon Camino. Oh, 
Alicia also received the Outstanding Incident Improvements for Norwegian PE. Bente Luisa Dalug. Too hard, dumb thing. Rahul Vijay Darga. Excellent academic award for psychology. Rohit Vijay Darda. Lay Mill Domes. Juliana Lillian Faulkner. Anish Flotter. Benedicte Catherine Elvoy Coxta. Benedicte also received the Outstanding Effort and Improvement in History Sabbath. Era Nicolene Gobu. Also received the Outstanding Effort and Improvements in Region A Standard Level, Math AI Standard Level, and TLK. And the Excellent Academic Achievement for Biology, Matt Whitney. Marty Hogan. Also received the outstanding effort and improvement in French P, Norwegian A high level, and economics high level. Oscar Halkibur. Cospid Conrad Hemmerle. Oh 
Esther also received the outstanding uh, FBI HL. James Alexander Storm Jacobson. Kim Marie Sarah Johansson. Ida Christina Johansson. Ida also received the excellent academic achievements in chemistry. Tomine Kivle. Lucas Martin Pete Kuhn. Lucas also received the Outstanding Effort and Improvement in Visual Arts. Tin Yuet Lai. Daniel Lilia Lundfeld. Daniel also received the outstanding effort and improvements in psychology vital. Maria Linea Limi. Ulrike Ariel Lunde. Mats Lökebø. Mats also received the outstanding effort and improvements in chemistry, uh, SL, and physics, HL, in addition to excellent academic achievements in math, AI. Yekaterina Maximovica. Sara Ismail Malo. Yeah. Maruna also received the 
fairly epic and improvements in English days, language days, and so on. Alexander Maximovich Mitrokin. Alexander also received the outstanding effort and improvements in math AAHL, psychology SL, GOK, and class. Daniel Zamani Mo. Here on Nguyen Dang. Han also received the outstanding effort and improvements in chemistry HL and physics SSL. Diedrich Agnald Nielsen. Ida Sophia Nudness. Emmeline Lockhart Pearson. Mia Holt Pedersen. Hmm. Elisa S. Time Pedersen. Yen Trang from B. Nima Bardia Selek Najat. Daniel Shasad Lansweig.
Daniel also received outstanding effort and improvements in history, SL, and ESS. Mila Chang Shulstad. Elvira Margrethe Lundholde Sundragen. Stian Martin Tellefsen. Arabella Nora Thurston. Marcus Fuller. Marcus has also received the outstanding effort and improvement in biology standard level and TOK. In addition, excellent academic achievements in English A, Langolith, Spanish B, Norwegian A, and Economics. <laughs> Anna Sivkina. Madeleine Bow. Adam Wojtnek. Hanyo Yo. Aya Saidan. Julia Zielinska. Julia also received the outstanding effort and improvements for economic standard level and the excellent academic achievements in our region. Selme Ernes. Selmer also received outstanding effort and improvements in English B high level and the excellent academic achievements in history and ESS. Magnus Ökstad. 
Please be upstanding for the graduates of 2021 CAPTAS. Now is the moment to finally relax and relish the fact that you are officially graduates. I would like to I would like to welcome to the stage the Jazz Queen of Sandiford, Miss Kelly Dixon, where she will be accompanied by Tutkil Mira on guitar. We are so happy that you are able to be here with us today. Thank you. 
On behalf of all of us, thank you. That was uh, amazing. Um, I feel incredibly proud of you all. And I now have the privilege of welcoming our valedictorian speaker to say a few words on behalf of the graduates. This student was selected as they have the highest predicted grades of all the students this year. It's a real honor and a pleasure to introduce Era Nicolina Grebel as the valedictorian of 2021. now. Dear all, I am so honored to stand here in front of you, but I want to start off the speech with a little disclaimer. This is not going to be a speech about COVID, because after a year and a half 
I have grown quite sick. Instead, let this be a day to celebrate our accomplishments. No matter how tough or how trying this road has been, we've all made it this far. Well, now that all the dramatics are done with, I am very happy to get on with something far nicer. I would like to thank everyone who has supported us on our journey thus far. Teachers, staff, friends, and family alike. Truly, we could not have survived these two years without you. Now, it feels appropriate in a speech like this to offer a well-worn school-adjacent proverb. And I do love a good cliche. It's been often said that knowledge is power, but I am not entirely sure if I would agree. I am of the conviction that to, love some, to know something is to love something. Of course, this does have its exceptions. After two years, I know how to write a cast reflection though I cannot pretend I love it very much. <laughs> I do, however, love all the groups and activities that I got to join. I love being able to try new things. And I loved the posters up in Delta. May they rest in peace. I was also lucky enough to love the subjects that I took. I love my house plants a little more, knowing the intricate machinery that is inside each and every one of their cells. I love seeing the colors and patterns around me, knowing how they fit into a greater composition. I love being able to understand my own mind a little better. I love the feelings of seeing the numbers fall into place and everything makes sense. And I love being able to choose the right words and languages that I speak. Now, we've all come to love different things over the two years that we've been here. Some of you got to love physics, or economics, or ESS, or all the other subjects that I was not fortunate enough to have. Some of you love the ping pong table. <laughs> and uh, some of you love the green chairs. Some of you love the student lounge. And we all surely love Ms. Folan's emails about keeping it clean. <laughs> Now, some of you probably just love the feeling of being done with all of this, and that's fair too. Going forward, I hope we can love the world that we live in a little bit more for every new thing that we discover, for there is a great many things to know. No matter what we have come to know and love, we can all leave the school prepared for whatever will be thrown at us. No matter where we end up, we will always be united by the years that we've shared. Most importantly though, I am so grateful to have known all of you. Once again, thank you, goodbye, and until next time, take care. Thank you, Era. well done. Good speech. Every year, a student is selected to receive the Principal's Award. This award goes to a student that has done a bit extra for the Skagra community over the years being here. In many ways, this student embodies the spirit of what it's like to be a student at Skagra. With this award comes a sum of money that is contribution for study materials when this person now moves on to his university studies. Please come up and receive this award, Samuel Bassey.
We're almost there. Um, last night, I actually received a message from someone you know, Mr. Bliss. And he has a few words that he wishes me to tell you. Dear class of 2021, I am immensely proud of you all, even you, Mats. <laughs> and I wish I could have been there with you today as you graduate and move on beyond the world of Skagrak. I know that you've learned valuable skills and knowledge here, whether that be calculus or Spanish, or how pandas are overrated or that climbing Bessagen in Ugg boots is ill-advised. <laughs> this knowledge will serve you well. When things get difficult and you're stuck facing tough challenges, be sure to pull from those very life experiences and remember that always, always, life finds a way. Stay curious, Mr. Bliss. And he might actually be following the live stream for that, just so you know. Before I hand over to Mr. Tester for some final words, I would like to say thank you to Dia Run, Sebastian Lien, and Minsuk Sechin. You've done well. Thank you for helping out making this day special for the class of 2021. Next year, you'll be sitting in their seats. I have a few last words of thanks before this graduation ceremony will finish. Um, there's some people who've been working behind the scenes very hard this year to make this happen. Um, DP2, you've lost so many fun things this year, from Christmas parties to proms. Um, there's some people behind the scenes who are working so hard that you had today, and you deserve today. Uh, I want to say thank you to a few people, but I'm sure you'd like to say thank you to as well. Hegabuda, can you please come up, please? <laughs> Now, Hega absolutely hates this, so that means I love it. Um, parents, if you don't know who Hega is, uh, she's been standing in for you while you've been away. Uh, Hega is the den mama of Skagerrak International School. She does so much for these wonderful kids. She does it every year with a smile. She does a lot to organize this graduation. How about a big round of applause and thanks. <laughs> Ms. Follin, can you please come up, please? Um, parents, if you don't know who Ms. Follin is, she's probably handled some tricky questions about sex, drugs, alcohol, rock and roll while you've been away as head of pastoral. That's she just does, for the staff. That's just for the staff and for the students as well, doing an absolutely fabulous job. Uh, she is the brains behind this beautiful ceremony outdoors in a new venue, in a beautiful spot, well put together. Um, she worked tirelessly for UDP2. Uh, I would like to give Miss Yvonne Fullen a big round of applause. <laughs> Miss Fullen will give the final words before Min Suk plays us um, into some food. Um, Miss Fullen. Don't worry, it's no more weird words of wisdom. Uh, it's just logistics, it's food. Um, there are yummy treats located in boxes just over there. Uh, and this year, Maison Bravo, the really nice French bakery in town, uh, is providing a selection of three different delicacies for our consumption. Um, because we're kind of trying not to move around too much, um, I would actually ask that parents uh, stay seated um, you've been kind of looking after your children for 18 years, uh, and I would actually ask the graduates to go and get a box for your guest and bring it over to them. 
Uh, not right now, but in a few moments. Um, there are lactose-friendly treats, there are gluten-friendly treats, and they are vegan-friendly treats, and they are located up on the top section in color-coded bags with signs. Uh, a big thank you to Miss Bud and Miss Malamova for sorting that out when I was panicking earlier today. Um, but for anyone who doesn't have special requirements, um, apart from wanting lots of calories, um, you'll be having the regular white boxes which are located there. So kids, if you can sort your parents out, that would be wonderful. There'll also be coffee floating around. Uh, and because I've ordered so many cakes, it actually qualifies as food, technically. Uh, so if you would like to order an alcoholic beverage, please go ahead and do so. There are QR codes located on your tables. Uh, so, you know, you deserve a glass of bubbly parents. Uh, so off you go, enjoy that. Um, yeah, logistically, this bathroom is everything. If you've got any questions, just come and talk to me. Um, I'd also ask that teachers get first crack of the whip uh, and you go and select what you like first when it comes to going to get food. Okay, thank you. That's it.